So folks, as we reported earlier, and it's everywhere now, Eric has gone. United have got rid of Eric Ten Hag. I just seen some pictures earlier and I was surprised, but also a little sad. It shows him leaving, I think it's Carrington, I think the deed must have been done there. And he's in the back of, um, uh, I think it's a Range Rover. And he's in the back seat and he's hiding behind the passenger seat. And I'm thinking, you don't need to do that, Eric. Go out with your head, I'll die. You've done your best. It wasn't good enough, but you did your best. You've come across as a real decent, genuine guy. Um, as I say, the, the, the end product wasn't what we wanted. Uh, no doubt you've got a massive payoff. And if you've not, I would imagine your legal people will be on top of it to make sure that you do. You'll get another job, no issue at all. But yeah, he's hiding there behind the front seat, which is a bit surprising. And then I'm more surprised to read that he's already on his way back to Holland. Um, yeah, that's what they're saying. They're saying he's left Manchester already and he's on his way back there. And I'm thinking, well, there's not that much need, is there, to, to, to get away straight away? Do you, do you not feel happy here? You looked happy while you were at United. Well, you didn't look happy lately, but do you have to run back to Holland straight away? Um, just thought it was all a bit strange, really. But on the United front, I mean, I'm hearing now, I think the common consensus is Rudy's going to take us into the next international break and they may be looking for a new manager at the end of the international break. Well, again, that goes against what I said earlier. That's not what I would want myself personally, unless they can find some superstar that I don't know is out there. Um, I would just much, much rather than wait till next year, you know, uh, and have more of an open field when managers are leaving jobs, seasons are finished. Because all the names they mentioned, and of all the ones they mentioned, there's four or five of them, the only one that I'd be keen on I'm going for is the guy, is the, is the guy at Sporting Lisbon. Don't know a lot about him. He's probably another Eric Ten Hag, the same kind of level he's doing as well at Sporting now as Ten Hag did at Ajax before we got Ten Hag. Uh, but the experienced people they're talking about, I just don't think they're good enough. As I mentioned, Xavi earlier. What did he do at Barca? They got rid of him. Didn't do a lot. I'm just worried they're going to end up with the wrong manager again. I really, really am. I'd rather them wait the six months till the season and keep the powder dry and then go for the right guy and get the right guy because the right guy is what's needed there's no doubt about that and what I will say which I didn't mention earlier them players yet again can be uh, found part guilty in throwing yet another manager under the bus I don't care what anybody says there's enough talent in that squad even with all the injuries we've had to do reasonably well I said to a mate of mine when I was out yesterday I said I'll tell you what you take the bottom 14 to 16 teams in that Premier League and say to each of the managers, would you rather have the squad that you've got or the Manchester United squad? And I'll tell you now, you might get many of them saying, no, I'd keep my own squad, because they've got to say that, it's their own players there. But if you got them one-on-one -on -one, and the answer they gave you wasn't going to be disclosed, I'm telling you now, the 14 or 16 of them, they'd all say to a man, I'd take the United squad. The top two or three teams wouldn't, but virtually every other team in that Premier League would take what Ten Hag's had to work with there which just shows maybe number one, he hasn't been good enough, uh, no game plan, no nothing else, but also number two, that the players just haven't been playing. They really haven't. I mean, I heard something frightening about 18 months ago now, uh, when one of his uh, number twos was said to the media, oh, no, 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 I don't shout at the players, I don't call them, Eric won't, won't let me. Eric says, you don't shout at players, you don't fall out with them. As soon as you fall out with them, you've lost that player. Well, I think you fall out with nobody, Eric, but you've lost lots of players over the, over the course of the last two, two and a half years because they've not played for you. I think what they need is a good shouting at. And I do hope the next manager come, that comes in is capable of shouting because I think he needs to. Some of these players need a great shaking up. They really, really, really do for my money. Don't know what you think, folks. But well, that's my take on things.